when we think of the word movement we often tend to think of something we do with our arms or let's say walking but this is only one kind of movement that the human body is capable of muscular movement what are the other kinds of movement that's what we will explore in this video so first off let's look at amoeboid movement so just as the name suggests it is the kind of movement that takes place in amoeba so what an amoeba does is it extends its cell membrane and then the cytoplasm follows and that is how the cell moves forward so this is called amoeboid movement and which human cells exhibit that movement wbc's like neutrophils and macrophages next up is ciliary movement ciliary movement in this type of movement as you can see these hair like structures they move their movement is like sweeping by a broom so just like a broom sweeps away dirt these cilia too sweep away something or the other for example they are found in our upper respiratory tract so the cells lining the upper respiratory tract they have cilia and let's say there is a dust particle somewhere in the upper respiratory tract let's say in your nose or your throat and what the cilia do is that they sweep them away towards the outside so that the dust particles don't go and settle in the lungs because that will cause different problems so the other place where cilia are found is the oviduct or the fallopian tube the egg that is released every month in the oviduct it moves along the oviduct and waits for the sperm the movement of the egg is caused by the sweeping action of the cilia the next type of movement is flagellar movement and this type of movement is found in sperm so this is the flagellar movement and the flagellum is very similar to a cilium in the sense that it's a very thin hair like structure but the difference is in a cell there is only one or a few flagella whereas there are numerous cilia so in a sperm there is only one flagellum which moves with a whip like motion and propels the sperm forward and then of course we have muscular movement which is very widespread in our body and we are very familiar with it because we use this kind of movement to move our hands our feet our arms our legs our tongue you name it all the kinds of voluntary movement and even involuntary movement is a type of muscular movement so by involuntary movement i mean the beating of the heart or the contractions of the stomach when you have food inside it all this is caused by muscular movement so in summary we have four types of movement in the human body the amoeboid movement which is exhibited by neutrophils and macrophages types of wbc's then there is the ciliary movement which is present in the cells lining the upper respiratory tract and the oviduct then there is the flagellar movement which is exhibited by the sperm and then there is muscular movement hands feet heart muscles all of this is muscular movement 